Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review. Now this week, I'm gonna be reviewing four comics with Willow number two, Big Girls issue number one. Now those two reviews are already up here on the channel, so make sure you check them out after this video. Also coming this week is Dark Knight Death Metal issue number three, but the issue we're gonna talk about here in this review is Devil's Highway, issue number two. Now, I absolutely love issue number one. Will part two continue on with the momentum? Well, let's get on with the review. In issue one, we learn that someone with very sinister intentions had their eyes set on Ladies of the Night. And not only does this person have these cruel intentions, but they also like to leave a calling card with a snake inside the body. And that theme will continue here in issue two. Also in issue one, a diner worker named Joe tried to come to the rescue of one of these ladies that was in trouble, but he ended up paying the ultimate fate. His daughter Sharon had decided to take matters into her own hands. And in this issue, she continues her quest to put the pieces of the puzzle together by sitting down with a victim named Candy, who is friends with one of the latest victims. But it also appears that Sharon isn't the only person who is doing some investigation. We not only get a flashback of Sharon in her past, but also some other situations, both in art and dialogue, that shows off just how tough Sharon really is. That if the waitress continues to be rude to Candy, she'll have no problem snapping her wrist. When an auto mechanic tries to get fresh with her, that he might be the one in need of a repair. And with those rock hard abs, Sharon comes off as a believable badass. When issue two ends, we are once again left with our own clue of this story's puzzle as we as readers are trying to put it all together. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Devil's Highway issue number two a much deserved 10 out of 10. Issue number two of Devil's Highway took the excitement and mystery of issue one and made it more entertaining, exciting, and intriguing. The story here is by Benjamin Percy and it's captivating from page one. And when I reached the final page, all I wanted was for the ability to run out to my comic book store to pick up issue number three. But for that, I'll have to wait till September 16th. And even better than the story was the art in this issue. It's so well done and captivating. The art here is done by Brent Shinover and the color is done by Nick Filardi and the combination of their work is just outstanding throughout with the various locations really painting a dark and mysterious picture from a truck stop to a morgue surveillance and my personal favorite is how they show the capture of Roxy inside this truck. I also love how the colors change from scene to scene and when something critical happens I love the way the scenes are painted red. Now have you guys been keeping up with Devil's Highway and if you have leave me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Are you guys enjoying this comic book series as much as I am? When I picked up issue number one I had no idea what to expect but I was completely entertained and excited for issue number two and issue number two is even better than issue number one and I cannot wait to see where this series goes with issue number three. All right, guys, if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.